Good morning, good morning. Starbucks and Shorty. Starbucks and Shorties. All right. I've been doing this documentary since 2006. I started it in uh, September 2006. Governor O'Malley had the Get Shorty program. The Get Shorty program was about Governor O'Malley stopping first zero tolerance and the criminalization of poverty in Baltimore City and Baltimore County. That's how he created this mom machine with Judge Turnbull and, and nine other judges, Judge O'Malley and Renner's Court. All right. 1986, I turned in guns and drugs to the police at the police station uh, in the war on drugs. I wanted to end the war on drugs. Plain and simple. I got, I wanted to end the, the violence in our community. You got 300 and some odd murders every year for the last five years in Baltimore. If you end the war on drugs, those murders would go down. They would drastically go down. The, crim the decriminalization of poverty, these murders would go down. As long as you're killing black people, it's all right in America. If you was killing white people the way that you're killing black people, then it'd be a problem. But it's not a problem. It's a problem now with the opioids because you're killing white people with opioids. But when crack was killing black, you didn't say shit about that. Like I said, I've been doing a documentary and a movie. I'm a whistleblower. I'm a whistleblower on the courts. I'm a private chef and a caterer. I worked in your houses. All right. Social media for social change. All right. Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter. I got all my evidence on a Google Drive. See that? I've been asking for the Department of Justice to investigate my case since 2007, 2008. President Obama asked for an investigation in May of 2008. 13 years later, no, 12 years later. That's Johnny Oleski. February 2019, Johnny Oleski asked the Department of Justice to investigate my case. I turned in Mayor Pugh. I turned in uh, Nick Mosby, Marilyn Mosby. I turned in the Democratic Party for the corruption and the racism and the money that they make off of stop and frisk zero tolerance and the money they make off black bodies in Baltimore City and Baltimore County. I named the judges, the lawyers, and the politicians, and I put it all on film. It's all right here. Right here. I'm the owner of shorties. All right, this is the criminal complaint. It's Governor O'Malley, because like I said, the movie was about Governor O'Malley. The criminal charges. That's Governor O'Malley. See the date? December 20, November the 29th. All right. Thirteen years to the date. And I finished what I started. It wasn't easy. It wasn't easy at all. You locked me up in Illinois. You locked me up in Maryland. You made me homeless. You took over $2.6 million of my money. You took property. You took evidence. But I still got it on the Google Drive. Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter. Social media for social change. Locking me up only made my platform stronger. I proved my point. Like I said, that's Governor O'Malley. 13 years to the date. This is the Maryland Black Caucus. This is my business ID number. That's my business ID number. Federal state income tax evasion. The state of Maryland participated in fraud. They accepted forged checks while I was locked up in the state of Illinois. I got sole proprietorship. Nobody can sign my checks. Paul Weinblatt participated in this fraud. Jake Davis participated in this fraud. Deron Battle participated in this fraud. Michael Coons participated in this fraud. 
Patrice Taylor participated in this fraud. Like I said, federal and the state audit, income tax evasion. You move money across state lines. You move money from Maryland to Virginia. You move money through SunTrust Bank, Bank of America. Insurance Incorporated participated in the fraud. You can contact Al Redmer and get my, my transcripts from my insurance complaint. Like I said, I got everything on film. I fired Jake Davis in November of 2006. Nobody was supposed to be in my store. My store was supposed to be closed. I never received an eviction notice or none of that. <laughs> See that? That's special agent Richard McFeely of the FBI. I got a case file about that thick on me in the FBI and the Department of Justice. See that? It's making a movie about Governor O'Malley. You can go Google Letters Design. Rob Fix is the producer. Brad Cartwright. James Pryor. I've been working on this movie since 2006. It's time for this shit to come to an end. Movie release. It's Governor O'Malley. Shorty documentary. That's Governor O'Malley. Film. I don't want nobody to say that they don't know about this. Yeah. I do what I do because I know about the law. I know the law. I know the law very well. I'm a jailhouse lawyer. You got civil and criminal charges. Civil rights violations. You kidnapped me. Jane Miller participated in that kidnapping. WJZ participated in that kidnapping because mainstream media told the public that that was a terrorist. Them toilets was about y'all's corruption in the courts. Them toilets was about y'all's politicians. Them toilets was about Congressman Cummings, Congressman Sarbanes, Congressman Brown. Yeah, it was about your prison industry. Identity theft, credit card theft. All right. Trial by jury, equal protections and due process. I beat you in court. I took three toilets in court and I beat you with three toilets. P played three card molly in court. I fired my lawyer and defended myself. Ask somebody, Google me. I'm in the law books. This is exhibit one. I was supposed to go to the film festival in Utah. You feel me? The 2009 Film Festival. I was supposed to be at the 2009 Film Festival, but y'all locked me up in 2008 and you took my property from me. Sundance Film Festival. It's Governor Blagojevich. 2007. 2007. If Blagojevich can go to jail, so can O'Malley. So can O'Malley and his crime machine. So can Cardins. Anybody that was involved in my kidnapping can go to jail. Schellenberger. Exhibit three. That's Special Agent Jason of the FBI in Chicago. Because like I said, I got an FBI file on me. I used to be, <laughs> I used to do a lot of shit back in the 80s. I used to do a lot of shit in the 80s. I was a crazy baby from the 80s. Now I'm going to show you all the people that are involved because I'm going to give this to Donald Trump. This is my Christmas present to Donald Trump.
You see the ACLU there? You see the ACLU, you see the NAACP, you see all these 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 champions for justice. Yeah. See that right here? That's February 2008. My landlord wrote my son a lease in 2008, February 2008. Y'all was still cashing checks out my account. The state participated in that fraud. City, county, state, and federal levels. Income tax evasion, credit card fraud, identity theft. Jake Davis, James Hammond, Paul Weinblatt, Bank of America, SunTrust Bank. Scott Schellenberger, Greg Bernstein, Marilyn Mosby, Governor O'Malley, Governor Hogan. We coming after your money because y'all participated in the fraud. See Senator Cardins, see Pastor Jerome Stevens. This was about the Democratic Party in the toilets, all right? NAACP 92Q TV1. You see that? Governor O'Malley, Governor Brown. Yeah. Ain't no law against making a movie. It is a law about what you did to me. Audit and criminal charges. I've been asking for audit and criminal charges since 2008. 11 years, and it's 11 years overdue. Y'all did that to me. When you did my, my truck, my computer, you took uh, all the evidence I had against you but you didn't take this. You didn't take this. See, because I gave Governor O'Malley them DVDs. I gave uh, Tony Bridges those DVDs. Tony Bridges had them, all right? The Governor's Office of Minority Affairs had them. Gansler had them. You had them. The state of Maryland took property from me. All right. And uh you owe me six thousand dollars for my truck. You owe me a hundred and thirty million dollars for the contents of the truck. And I'm getting ready to sell this shit to Netflix. You see the truck? It's a body attachment and nobody got locked up. Schellenberger stole this property from me. And this property exposed the Democratic Party. I had 13 storyboards, 13 different movies. I had one about portraits of a letter. It was about the media. Jane Miller, Barry Sims, Stephen Janis, Mike Shu, Bill O'Reilly. It was all about the media. Yeah. Adam May. That's Spring Grove Medical Facility. And I was exposing the opioid epidemic at Spring Grove Medical Facility back in 2011. See it? 
I did an hour and a half interview with me at uh, WJZ. That's evidence for a federal investigation. Spring Grove Medical Facility and the abuses on uh, the, the, the occupants there. You abuse them occupants there. You stuffing them with, with medication. Like I said, I got... <clears throat> That's Judge Souter. This is a court order. Judge Turnbull. This is Judge Turnbull in 2009. criminal charges against Schellenberger back in 2009. Y'all didn't do nothing to Schellenberger then. See who got it. Cardins, Mikulski, Governor O'Malley, got Congressman Brown. Y'all make money off of this prison industry and y'all racketeering and fraud in the court. I broke your Democratic Party down. I'm a, making a movie. There ain't no law against making a movie. It is a law against kidnapping. It is a law against theft of property. It is a law against libelous statements, defamation of character. You broke the law. President Obama asked for a full investigation of my incarceration. This is the, the controller's office. Oh, no, it's not. It's the state's attorney's office in Lake County, Illinois. And this is the property they stole from me in Lake County, Illinois, 13 years ago to the day. No, 13 years ago on the 25th, of, the 24th of December. Illinois and Maryland stole my film, and that's my intellectual property. It's covered under the Constitution. So if you don't give me my property back, we get to take this to the Supreme Court. Yeah, it's a meritorious case. Let's see who got it. See my Department of Justice number. This is the Attorney Registry Disciplinary Committee. How long I gotta blow the whistle. But here goes my grand jury request. <laughs> Governor O'Malley, 52. Ah. 
That's my access in the grand jury. That's my constitutional right to access the grand jury. I don't access the grand jury. And like I said, we take this to the Supreme Court. Real simple. Bank of America, Shorty's Underground Ribs. See that? Like the Underground Railroad. It's the Underground Rib Shack. It's about our freedom. 2020. These are the Ford's checks. I was in jail in Illinois. You seen the letter from President Obama. I couldn't sign these checks. You seen that they changed the lease in February of 2008, so why were they writing checks off my account? They took over $10,000 out of my bank account and made $250,000 that year. That's a total of $260,000 that's unaccountable for. I want an audit. I want my money. I want my life back. It's my 60th birthday on December the 26th. You got 30 days to get this right, because after 30 days and the first of the year is when I'm going to file my lawsuits. When I file those lawsuits, somebody going to jail. Quasi and Fume, GOP Carter, Teller Branch, y'all on these emails. Y'all are part of this corruption. I mean, you do what you want to do. Checks and balances. Check yourself. Money count itself. And I know where mine went. 